Once upon a time, I used to use a Cronus True Image. And that is going to be the sponsor of today's video because I used them exclusively in the late 2000s, early 2010s for so many small businesses because they had one of the best block based backups offerings for, for any Windows machine. And things have changed a little bit in this past 10 years and they've expanded their product offering. So today's video is going to be sponsored by Acronis and I'm going to be looking at Acronis Cyber Protect Home Office Premium, formerly known as Acronis True Image. <laughs> now, you might be thinking, Titus, you don't do very many sponsor videos. Why this one? And the reason being is that a Cronus True Image is at the heart of today's video. It's it's what everything's based off of. They just basically rebranded it and added a few things to it. And that's really why I accepted this because I know the product's going to be good, but there's going to be some changes. And I really wanted to go over all these things that they offer because a good backup is absolutely essential on any machine. If you don't have a good backup, well, you're just you know, relying on hopes and prayers for for <laughs> a functional system. So let's get on the desktop, start reviewing this entire new product uh, that used to be called Acronis True Image and get into everything that they offer because it's a lot. So I already have a license for Acronis here. I've already registered on Acronis.com and I'm gonna just go ahead and download and install it. Uh, the download here is really cool. One cool thing about Acronis I mentioned is block-based backup. It means you can restore it as it is today, no matter what happens, it's no reinstalling anything. So we're gonna download this one today and install it. You'll notice this is really simple. All right, we can start the application, sure. And it even comes and launches into this quick start guide. So if it's the first time, kind of launches you through all the different things. I mean, it really holds your hand, which is nice, especially for those that aren't familiar with a lot of backup programs. I would recommend uh, using the ISO. I'll get in and launch directly into their recovery ISO too, because it's so neat to see all the different ways to recover from your system. Uh, let's say ransomware protection is the biggest selling point that they have. It does have amazing because the best ransomware protection is to have a good backup. We'll accept their agreement, move forward. And then I put the serial number here. One second. After the serial number, put in our login to acronis.com. The, their big thing nowadays is expanding into the cloud offering space where it's literally doing backups. You can do direct backups to their cloud and restore directly from their cloud as well. The full image backup is like it's bread and butter. This is exactly what I remember from a, a image software suite. It will do every block of that hard drive if need be and make sure it captures all the files. You can also use it for disk cloning. This was really big in the early 2010s where you would get like an SSD and you have your old spinning platter. I would use their disk cloning software a lot of times to clone a disk. That said, we're ready to go. So we have this right here. Uh, this uh, Windows 10 instance only has 30 gigs of use space. You can see that right here. But before I back this up, there's a couple things I like to do before pushing things to the cloud to make things a little bit faster. I usually just do a disk cleanup like this and then clean up system files. And then I just check to see if there's anything really big, like there's 200 megs there. Oh, here's some memory dump files. That's two gigs. Because before doing a backup, you really kind of want to clean out all those temporary files, recycle bin, all that junk, because then you're going to be uploading that. When you do a big full full image backup like this, it will back up everything. And one other cool thing they have is a system cleanup uh, as part of their tool set over here, which we can actually run real fast too. So here's our Acronis system cleanup. It found 967 files even after running the disk cleanup, which is pretty cool. It again hits recycle bin, temporary files, recently used, all these things, even user credentials if you wanted to blow those out, let's not. So we'll go ahead and hit clean up to this and the cleanup is completed successfully. There's some other cool stuff in here, uh, such as if you were wiping this drive, let's say you're donating in the computer, you could install like a Cronus drive cleanser, it would do a couple passes. This would take a long time, but it would just make sure nothing can be recovered from the PC as well. There's some other fun things like try and decide. This will basically make sure you have a good backup and then also do like a little snapshot of your system. So if you're doing some risky install, you could actually 
run that risky install let's say it ends up being uh, ransomware or a virus and then you go oh okay that was a mistake and then you could just rewind in time using this little piece of software as well but now that we've cleaned up the drive I'm going to do a full image backup of this system. And here we go. We're off to the races on the backup. Uh, backup speed's actually pretty good. Most backup software uh, usually hovers around the mid 50s. So right now I'm getting about 150 megabits per second. Uh, the other day I ran it obviously at night on the inside system. And I was getting around anywhere between 50 and 100 because probably more people were hitting their servers. So this right here is pretty darn good speeds we're already a gig into this backup so it's only going to take uh it says 30 minutes but i would say probably this backup's going to take us i i'm probably closer to 15 to 20 minutes to do a full image to the cloud using my internet connection here so i'm going to just let this run and let all of this back up and then we'll have a full image of this system up in the Cronus cloud. All right, it is done. I finished my breakfast and had my coffee. So let's uh, let's see what the restore process even looks like uh, as I'm gonna pretend we got like this really nasty infection and it just completely locked us out of the system. Or let's say that our entire bootloader, everything just disappeared on us. Doesn't matter because this is a full image backup. All right, here we are. We booted to the ISO. There's nothing else here. So we're going to try a Cronus Cyber Protect Home Office on this one. Okay, now let's see what kind of recover we have here. Can just browse and let's try to connect to our Cronus Cloud. Oh, okay, we've signed in. We have the VM I just did. And then I also restored, I can restore to that inside machine. So let's say okay to this. And then we have the full backup. That we can hit next and we can recover whole disk partitions or just chosen files again this is all being done from an iso media so it's going out to the web signing into the cloud and then downloading all this and then you can choose recovery points so let's say you were infected at a certain time you can actually go back it will store multiple recovery points as well we're just going to pick the one from 8 47 this morning and then you get to see all of your partitions here you can see the ntfs drive c 110 you have the efi partition the recovery partition again this is what's beautiful about these block-based backups so even if i was just messing around and i blew out my boot partition i could just restore it to this system so it's a really good backup and like i said the fundamentals of any system are having a good backup and that's why the recovery system's really good so let's go ahead and boot back into our system and see what else it has to offer now as far as their protection goes this is just your antivirus any malware the detection rates for their software is right on par with all the competition and it's a decent antivirus uh coupled that with a backup which is far more important than your antivirus now moving past the protection side you got archive which is interesting so let's say you just had one laptop you wanted to back everything up using a cronus you could do that but you're running out of space on that the archive feature, basically, if you have a large folder or a large download, let's say you go to downloads and there's like look, this 900, you know, meg file, that's almost a gig and it's taken up and eaten some space. What we could do is just archive this file and then it would delete it from here and then put it on the cloud. So then if you do need that file, you could re-download it. Let's try that real fast. And it even suggests, hey, these files are pretty big. You might wanna back those up. So yeah, let's just grab these three files and archive it. And we could see it running in the background here. All right, it's done. And look at that, our downloads, it just cleared it off. So we just cleared off almost a gig of space just by pushing it to the cloud archive. Sync is also a really interesting one where you can do, it's, it's treat it like Dropbox. So instead of having Dropbox, uh, your antivirus program, and then an archiver on top of all these things and having a manually archive, this just is like an all-in-one tool that does it all for you. So it'd be great for a basic user that just wants everything in one spot. A lot of these are not installed by stock defaults. So when you click on it, it says, hey, do you want to install the tool? So by stock defaults, it doesn't just install everything in its suite because it's going to take up a lot of room it's just going to install the base stuff that everyone's going to need and then if you want to do like the try and decide tool you can install it and then 
use it. So I appreciate that. And when it comes to pricing, this is what we have for Acronis. You have the tried and true, just backup, ransomware, and some of the tools. If you're staying local, this is what you want for $50 a year. If you want to go up a little bit, back up like a laptop, something with not a lot of space, and do full image backups, you can do that. You have that for the 500 gig, or if you're just doing some basic uh, archiving and also file syncing, you can do 50 gigs and just back up that way. Or if you want a lot of space, you can go to the premium plan, you get up a one terabyte uh, worth of free, uh, free disk space. And then if you need more than that, each additional terabyte is about $40 more. And that's going to do it for Acronis. Be sure and use my code Chris Titus 2022 to get 30% off of all these rates. As of today, I don't know how long that's going to be around. Click on the link down below, depending on when you watch this video. And thank you, Acronis, for sponsoring this video. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.